Okay, tonight we are in Habakkuk chapter 3, looking at verses 8 through 15, trying to get down to uh, at least verse 15, and then the closing of the book, hopefully we'll look at that next week, verses 16 uh, through 19, where uh, Habakkuk is reflecting on his own response. What we're looking at is uh, a theophany, Uh, he's recounting a theophany of the Lord coming, uh, appearing, he sounds again like... Uh, Mount Sinai, it sounds like the days of the judges with Deborah and Barak. Uh, It sounds like the Lord coming in history. And I think he's looking forward to the end. And I think that's pretty solid because God says uh, the vision, it it speaks of the end. Wait for it. And so what Habakkuk is waiting for, he's waiting for the Lord to return at the end. The ultimate theophany, the, the second coming, we would call it the second coming. Uh, We're talking about it in Revelation on Monday nights. And so the things that we're seeing here are the Lord intervening, coming into the universe, coming into our uh, dimension. And the the results are always catastrophic. The the mountains quake, the seas respond. Uh, It's the same thing you saw at creation where the Lord is is moving things around, getting things set up. We see in this uh, announcement that rivers are, are moving which means boundaries are being reset up. He's he's observing the earth and he's reestablishing it. And so Habakkuk has been has going to ask the question, just like Isaiah asks a question. In fact, that's the first thing I've got written on the page. Habakkuk is talking with the Lord at this coming, uh, similar to Isaiah talking to the Lord at his coming in Isaiah 63. Isaiah sees the Lord coming out of Basra and says, who is this? And he answers, it is I, mighty. It, 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 it is striding forth in his glory. Will Habakkuk ask him when he come when the Lord?